best, or your best, I should say. I'm thinking I can only reflect on what I've done and how I got there. I never went to the Institute of Sport. I never played for Victoria. The first time anyone ever thought I was good enough to do a job was when I was 23 years of age. And I don't know how old you are. But I'm assuming you're all under 20. No, 21, 22, 23. Yeah. So it's not too late. And Frank Al, the co national team coach at that time, he said I turned up to watch you play for South Melbourne Hellas versus. Uh, Melbourne, Croatia, because it was that big back in the day. He goes, I just turned up in that game and I saw what you were doing in the middle of the park and I thought, that's the sort of... All I had, boys, was my work ethic. Uh, my second touch was a tackle. Because of my first touch was that bad. You don't have to be the best. You have to be good, but you just want to be your best. But whatever your thing is, you don't find central defenders sprinting up the touchline. You've all got very special gifts. Hopefully, your first touch is a lot better than mine. But if you can make your gift, whatever it might be, better than anybody else's, if your attitude is better than anyone else's, it's amazing what you can do. It really is. They don't normally, well, they don't always pick the best players. They want the players that are gonna contribute to the team. Do you know what I mean? So if you don't get selected, if you give the ball away, don't worry about it. Just go and get it back. If you can be so enthusiastic, people can't avoid them to pick you. Wow, he loves to be there. Um, I played against Maradona uh, twice, one at the Sydney Football Stadium. Yeah, he was that big, but wow, how strong. No matter what I did to push him off the ball, no matter how many times I tried to tackle him, he always had that last little step to jump over the top. And if you watch Vision, the best players in the world have tried to cut him down. He didn't score a goal, well done mate, tip. But, but he got away, I tackled him, he got up and he got it off one of our players. He crossed it from there, he went over one of their guys, uh, Balbo, and it in the back of the net from the near post. We got we drew one good. all here and we got beat one nil over there and we scored the goal for them. One of our defenders jumped up to head it away and it came off the top of his head over the keeper and into the back of the net. 85,000 people at the River Plate Stadium going absolutely nuts. But after the game, we went to, I had to go uh, to a TV station to do an interview, right? And the host of the show said, so, Paul, how much do you earn? Now back, I had a job. I went to this school. I had a job, I was a draftsman. We used to play or train three nights a week and play on the weekend. And I thought, how offensive is that? Because I used to earn $5,000 a year. They were on $100,000 a week. So yeah. I just went, yeah, $5,000. And the guy said, oh, $5,000 a week, that's not bad. And I said, no, no, $5,000 for 12 months work. <laughs> Anyway, he wasn't trying to take the piss out of me. What I'm he was surprised. trying to do was to tell the whole, all the people watching, 60 million people, that their team was nearly knocked out of the World Cup by part-time footballers. Mm. You know, it doesn't matter who you're playing. If you realize your potential, if you play to your potential every single time, it's amazing what you can do. Mm. Never be intimidated by anybody. On, have respect for them. That's so important, but don't think that they're any better than you mm. if you're your best. That's all the advice I can give. Yeah, concentrate on your first touch and all that, but make sure you make a difference. Don't just aspire to be a leader, aspire to make a difference. Every single time you go out there, every single time, whatever that might be, bed at 10 o'clock the night before a game, no drinking, whatever it takes. Some of you will get injured, some of you won't like the coach, some of you think that employment is more important, some of you just get fed up because you're burnt out. So what is it that's going to make one of the two of you guys achieve your goal? It's you, it's your love for being your best. Does that make sense? Yeah, Has anyone yeah, got yeah. any questions? Because I know you've got a lot of work to do. And thank you for doing this. This is a major part. Some players are, only want to be recognised when there's a game on. Do this, that is all major stuff. Tick.
Are there any questions? Anything? You want to know how much he's making nowadays? We used to get 300 a win, right. 200 a draw, and a hundred dollars if we lost. So you didn't draw for money? No. And Graham Arnold, and Robbie Slater were earning twenty thousand dollars a week. So it just shows you, doesn't it? Why was I the captain? Because I was there every week, every single. No, I'm not coaching. I do speaking gigs all over the country. I talk about Maradona. I talk about being dropped as a soccer captain. How did I get my shirt back? I've had part of my brain removed because I had epilepsy. So while I was playing against Maradona, I had a seizure, but I wasn't going to tell any of you because I feared that maybe the next time you weren't going to play me. Suck it up. Do you know what I mean? So you're going to have challenges. Every single one of you, and it won't be once, twice, three, it'll be a dozen times. Do you really want to get over that real challenge? Only you can decide. Coaches can tell you whatever they like. You will decide whether you want to get over it. So just, I don't know how you're going to deal with that, but you will decide how you deal with it. So no, so no questions. Thank you. Right, On behalf of all. Thank you.